Live from the Guadalajara capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The news headlines is brought to you compliments. GUT Credit Union. As we prepare and remain vigilant amid the coronavirus pandemic, the GUT Credit Union remains committed to serving you and your family in the safest way possible. We have increased the frequency of cleaning and sanitizing all branches and ATMs throughout the day. In an effort to maintain the protocols of social distancing, we encourage you to use the ATMs to conduct simple transactions. For your protection and convenience, our officers are available to conduct business via telephone if needed. As a member, if you are facing financial challenges as a result of the pandemic, please contact us to discuss the range of flexible options available to you. More information can be obtained by calling 440-1354, emailing gutcu at spysile.com or visiting www.gutcu.com. Together, we can successfully navigate through this time. GUT Credit Union, it's where you belong. Here with the GBN Television News for Thursday, the 9th day of April 2020. Headlines, COVID-19 test results to be announced on Friday. Scores of motorists use day opportunity to refuel vehicles. 10 charged, 10 arrested and charged during Beach Lime in St. John. In the sports news, Qatar and Russia, of course, uh, they are into um, buying rights, uh, will deny buying rights for World Cup. And uh, in the Around the Globe segment, Jamaica develops protocols to reopen borders. Do stay with us. We'll bring you the details after this. This is GBN, the nation's news leader. This segment is brought to you by Courts Grenada Limited. Despite the situation we now face, one thing is for certain. We will get through this together. As much as we are a part of your community, you are a part of who we are. Let's take care of each other during this time, as we always do. And soon, we know that with the dawn of that new day, all of this will be over, and our land will once again be healed. In the meantime, stay safe. Know that we're here for you. Courts, bringing value home. This is News at 7. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ken Roy Batiste. Grenadians will know on Friday if the number of COVID-19 cases has increased or if measures implemented by the government of Grenada are having a successful impact on the population. Beverly Tellisford followed the announcement made during Thursday's news conference by health officials. The results of 47 tests done locally for COVID-19 coronavirus is expected on Friday. Health Minister Nicholas Steele, during a news conference on Thursday, told the nation that the amount is more than the government had done in the three combined weeks of sending tests to CAFA. Meanwhile, he said that one more positive tested patient is now in hospital, bringing the number of hospitalized patients to three. This is at present um, when last we, we gave information to the public, two of our 12 cases um, were in our COVID isolation unit um, because they, they needed hospital care based on the symptoms that they had. Um, regrettably, I have to announce one more of the individuals is now also at that COVID facility um, because that person is in need of, of further medical attention or hospital care. So we have three of our confirmed cases in hospital right now at our COVID ICU unit. We, as a result of that, we have moved all patients and the team up to the 10 bed facility. This is the first time that any patient or any of the team would have been occupying that 10 bed facility. Minister Steele said that the conditions of the first two patients have stabilized, while the third's condition has declined over the past 24 hours. 
Meanwhile, Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin says that a committee has been established at the National Disaster Management Agency, led by Dr. George Mitchell and himself. We have now activated a cabinet approved committee um, called a Central Coordinating Mechanism, which is based at NADMA. Um, so now we have integrated into NADMA and utilizing the, the NADMA construct a central coordinating mechanism for which all of the activities that are taking place related to COVID-19 will be routed through. That committee is headed by our COVID-19 lead, Dr. Mitchell, uh, supported by myself. We have also created an emergency operation center within that construct that constitute with lead and senior persons from all of the different agencies and departments that is critical in the fight against COVID-19. Dr. George Mitchell commended the work of the medical professionals on the front line caring for people infected with COVID-19. Frontline staff, both at the level of the Ministry of Health, at the hospital, and at the community, every single class of those workers. Um, we really, I think the nation salutes you. We uh, appreciate what you do. Um, and we expect more and more of you to join that army um, in this historic response that we are actually having. And so when the, when the, when the annals, when the history of uh, COVID-19 is written, that you can Stick your hand up and say, I was part of this historic response. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford. Well, as it relates to the 52 Grenadians stranded on board two cruise ships in Florida and other Grenadians wanting to return home, Health Minister Nicholas Steele says they remain in communication. The employer, i.e. the cruise ships, do have an obligation to, to return individuals to their home country or home port. Um, I find it strange that they would just be telling them they have until the 15th and then what are they going to do? Um, but we're working with them and we would like to be able to accommodate. We, we are having discussions with respect to quarantine facilities um, to allow individuals slowly to the best of our capacity to get in. But I'm sure we would all agree as, as a nation, while we are making the sacrifice here now um, to, to make sure that we as best as possible become COVID free, we have to be very careful um, to make sure that, that when we, we meet our obligation of dealing with our citizens and allowing, affording them the opportunity to come back home, that we do so in, in, in a very careful and methodical manner um, that allows us to still continue to remain COVID free and not put the rest of us at risk. Now, all gas stations were open today Thursday to facilitate motorists who wish to refill their vehicles. The announcement last evening resulted in a rush to the pumps earlier today. Beverly Tellisford has more. On Wednesday, the government of Grenada announced that on Thursday, the motoring public will have access to all gas stations on island to top up on their gas. On Thursday morning, the roads leading to the major gas stations in St. George were punctuated with vehicles. GBN ventured to the specific sites and brought you this report. No gas. Keep moving. That was the directive given by the police officers at the Rubis Gas Station Botanical Gardens location at an early 10.15 this morning, a little over two hours after the opening hour prescribed by the government of Grenada. Though there was no gas at the gas station, vehicles using diesel were allowed to fill their tanks. With five hours to get to the pumps, motorists were out early but were still met with extremely long lines at every location in St. George. The line of traffic waiting to access Otway service center on Lagoon Road was backed all the way up to Paddock St. George. As part of regulatory guidelines, motorists were required to obtain gas within their parish of residence and only one vehicle per household was allowed and that vehicle had to have contained only one person. Drivers were instructed to remain in their vehicles. Failure to do so warranted ejection from the line. Healthcare workers presenting appropriate ID were entitled to a 50% discount at all Sol gas stations. There was no restriction on the amount of gas that can be purchased but persons were restricted from filling gas bottles. Reporting near Saul Gas Station in Grand Dance in St. George, I am Beverly Tellisford. 
For the people of Karakou and Petit Martinique, Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin outlined the shopping days for the Sister Isles. Shopping day in Karakou and Petit Martinique, the next shopping day will be Tuesday. Tuesday, 8 to 4 will be the next shopping day in Karakou and Pidi Martinique and the Western Union and money remittance there will open also at the same time between the hours of 8 and 1 and shopping will be between 8 and 4. Saturday in Karakou will also be open for the gas station will open for essential services between the hours of 8 and midday. Many Grenadians share their feelings of boredom as they adhere to Grenada's limited state of emergency against the spread of COVID-19. However, while many improvise to pass the time and remain at home, others take the chance to break the law for fun. Ten people will find out the hard way as they now find themselves on the wrong side of the law. We get more in this report. Two females and eight males between the ages of 20 and 46 were arrested and charged on Tuesday for violating Grenada's limited state of emergency regulations. A video circulating on social media Facebook showed police arresting youngsters who chose to fit on a beach in Guelph St. John rather than adhere to the stay-at-home rule. Superintendent of Police Vanny Cowan was visibly annoyed by the reckless behavior of the youngsters as he addressed the issue on Wednesday during a news conference. It's appalling that after weeks of being on television and appealing to the nation the need to stay home, the lack of social activities, the no funerals, the no wedding, all geared towards ensuring that that virus does not spread. Lo and behold, yesterday we had to arrest 10 persons in Guave who choose to go on the beach and cook and smoke and have a good time in spite of all of the warnings we have been putting out. It tells us clearly that while some people are taking these measures very seriously, being concerned about their health and well-being of themselves and their family, there are some in our meads who really do not care. Superintendent Cowan informed Grenadians that the measures put in place by government is not meant as a punishment for anyone, but to prevent the spread of COVID-19. He said the 10 individuals were charged with violating the curfew and possession of drugs, and they will make their court appearance when court resumes. He commended the Grenadian people for their assistance during this time of uncertainty. I've been around the force now for a number of years, and I think this is the first time I've seen Grenadians pull together to ensure a vote and prevent the spread of, of, of this virus. We have had um, contribution, support from the public that perhaps we have never had before. We have had people calling in from different neighborhoods to say, hey, listen, I've seen somebody walking behind me house. I've seen two people on the street. I've seen somebody, you know, where they ought not to be. And this tells you to lend to the point that Brenton and Connett has made. Some people are taking this very seriously as they ought to. And when they see violations like I've just spoken about, they would call in. We have had support from the public, maybe as we have never had any time in the history of the police force that I have been a part of. I want to thank the public for that. Superintendent of Police Randy Cornott, officer in charge of the traffic department, said that the behavior of the youngsters do not reflect the behavior of the people in the community, as people have been communicating with the police, reporting reckless behavior. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News. This is News at 7. We're live here at the Grenada Broadcasting Network. Still to come from us, financial relief on the way for employers and employees. And police announce ease in regulations for purchasing alcohol. Stay with us. Good vibes only. Lucasade. Taste the energy. 
Easy living should be convenient. With Grenneck, it is. Dial 237 for any Grenneck department or for customer service, streetlight outages, or if it's unsafe to trim a tree near a power line. For streetlights and service issues, please note the poll number. From just about anywhere, you can also check your bill balance and other account information. Just keep your Grenneck access number handy. Dial 237 for Grenneck. It's that easy. Grenneck, energizing our Grenada. So are you looking for doors and windows that look sophisticated and are very secure? Then St. Lou Metals is your one-stop shop. Our windows and doors make sure your home not only looks great, but is more secure. We manufacture shower enclosures, doors, windows for residential and commercial properties using high-grade material and the latest technology. If you want to save money and improve your home's appearance, you have made the right choice by shopping at St. Lou Metals. For a free quotation, visit us today at the Frequente Industrial Park or call us at 439-6538 or 439-6539. When I need shelter, warmth, security, I know you'll be there. Something in these moments lets me know you care. Maybe the way you shield me, maybe it's your smiles. And the way you tell me, it's okay to try. Now I'm invincible, I can pack my sack, I can take the long Cause it's okay to look back if I am scared I know you're there Arise Together there's no limit to what we can do Arise With no wings Fly Arise And we're so high and joy the view This is Ariza, your financial freedom, your future. The Grenada Distillers Limited joins the government and people of Grenada, Caribou, and Pitti Martinique in the fight against COVID-19. Only together we can beat this pandemic. As a corporate citizen, we have temporarily stopped the production of rum, and our focus has been on the production of a sanitizing solution to assist in the fight against this dreadful pandemic. We have commenced free distribution to the senior citizens' homes, children's homes, and other vital organizations around the country, and made this product available to you at supermarkets and pharmacies island-wide. We encourage you to please listen and obey the guidelines issued by our health authority and the Royal Grenada Police Force. Together, and only together, we can beat COVID-19. It's new, innovative and classy, and it cut above the rest. Your one-stop shop for bathtubs, kitchener, customized doors and windows, and even a new paint job. We also sell quartz and solid surface countertops. At Eminent Hardware, we offer best prices, excellent service, efficiency, and reliability. Visit us at Dusty Highway, Grand Dance St. George, or call telephone number 440-6757. Eminent Hardware, from foundation to roof, let's build together. Despite the situation we now face, one thing is for certain. We will get through this together. As much as we are a part of your community, you are a part of who we are. Let's take care of each other during this time, as we always do. And soon, we know that with the dawn of that new day, all of this will be over, and our land will once again be healed. In the meantime, stay safe. Know that we're here for you. Courts, bringing value home. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. 
want a home that matches our way of life. But it's not just about building or buying a dream home or purchasing land with the most breathtaking view. It's about finding the bank that would make you feel at home. A home easy loan from Republic is your best choice. It's more than a mortgage, it's peace of mind. Visit any of our six branches, submit your application forms on our website, or talk to us on Facebook. Experience peace of mind today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Welcome back. The government of Grenada is sparing no effort in addressing the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. This assurance came from Prime Minister and Finance Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell as the rollout of the economic stimulus package was discussed in a press briefing on Monday. Details in this report. While hosting his most recent press conference, in which an extension of the 24-hour curfew was announced, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell informed that the staff at the Ministry of Finance is continuously working on rolling out the economic stimulus package, which is designed to help cushion the blow for businesses and workers that have been hardest hit by the crisis. The stimulus package, announced on March 20th, includes 14 measures. Some persons are expected to start receiving benefits by the end of April. Qualifying hotels, restaurants and bars and travel agents will receive a percentage of their existing payroll under the stimulus package. Although the workers are the ultimate beneficiaries of this measure, the application must be submitted by the business establishment. A point to note for qualifying businesses is that the payroll support must be used for that particular purpose and not for any other aspect of their business operation. Employees will be expected to certify receipt of payment at the end of each month in which the benefit is applicable. Regarding income support for public buses, taxi drivers, tourist vendors and other people within the hospitality-based industries, efforts are being made to contact those affected directly with a view to provide payments. All payroll support and income support payments will be by direct deposit to the bank account of the qualifying persons and businesses. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford. Meanwhile, the economic impact of COVID-19 on the financial sector in Grenada is still yet to be determined. President of the Grenada Bankers Association, Richard Duncan, says while each bank may be doing its own assessment, there still remains several uncertainties that will cloud the end results. Doing the assessment is one thing because that is what I might call a static analysis. You know how much they owe you, you know, you know, all those things. What we do not know is how soon the hotel industry will be back on its feet. And our estimation basically is that the cruise season is dead. There's no more cruise season for 2020. In terms of stayovers, that too, in my opinion, is done for 2020. If we are lucky for the winter season, which starts around October, November, um, the planes might begin to fly again, because right now half the uh, airplanes in the world are grounded, and those that are flying, fly with only 10% of the seats being occupied. So it's a dismal situation for tourism globally. Mr. Duncan says financial institutions are caught in the middle. What the central bank has done is to say to commercial banks, listen, you can give a moratorium for up to six months, whether it's individuals or businesses. At the end of that six months, we will reassess the situation and there's a prospect for further extension. So that is the level of uncertainty you know, that the central bankers are facing, as well as us as commercial banks. And at least all players in the economic system, really and truly, it's an uncertain future, an uncertain next 12 months for all of us. This one to report people who called for the ban on the sale of alcohol to be lifted had their appeal heard and answered. The issue was addressed as government continued to make changes to regulations put in place as a means of preventing the spread of COVID-19. 
The regulation implanted at the start of the limited state of emergency for the state of Grenada said that there should be no sale or consumption of alcohol in public places. Superintendent of Police Fanny Cohen, during a news conference on Wednesday, explained what these changes mean. You can purchase your alcohol, but you must consume it in the privacy of your home or some private place and not in public. I want to make this point abundantly clear, though. That does not legitimate the rum shops to be opened. And I want to reiterate that. That does not legitimate the rum shop or leg legitimize rum shops to be open. They must remain closed because they are not an exception under the provisions. However, grocery stores who sell alcohol, alcohol can be purchased from those stores but must be consumed in privacy, not in the stores and not in public places. All right, so regarding the question on the quantity of alcohol and other items that one cons a customer can purchase, Superintendent Cohen said this decision is in the hands of the business owner. Law enforcement, we cannot determine, or the law doesn't say specifically the quantum of alcohol that one can purchase. That decision must be left to the particular establishment. Just as how they have restrictions on the number of teens of milk you can purchase, they may wish to put restrictions on the amount of alcohol you can purchase. But this is not a law enforcement issue. It is not enshrined in the regulation and is not something enforceable by law enforcement. But each establishment reserves the right to determine how they're going to run their establishment. All right, we're going to take a break, but still to come from us, forecasters predict above average hurricane season. This is News at 7. When you need your prescription filled or you require non-prescribed medication, supplements, or all your personal needs, visit Gittins Healthcare at locations on Wall Street Grand Dance, Victoria Street Grand Dance, and Central Deputy Street Wall. Gittins Healthcare aims to provide an exceptional personalized pharmacy experience. Additionally, children under 5 and adults 55 years and over will enjoy 10% discount on purchases of $20 and over on prescription medication. Stop setting and for less, visit Kittens Healthcare, where your health is our priority. changing needs of our shareholders and members. Times are changing and with the changing times comes a whole new way to do business. Our parents may have done their banking a different way. Communal's state-of-the-art online banking and international debit card allows members to do business with great ease. It's like literally having a branch in your very own hands. Need a loan? Apply online from the comfort of your own home anywhere in the world and your request will be dealt with remotely. Want to transfer between your accounts or another shareholder? No wait time for transactions to update. Voila! Who needs receipts when you can receive them via e-statements on your mobile device and save the environment? Not a communal member? You can join our family today by applying online at Communal. We see you working hard to ensure that you save, invest, and grow. Communal, join us today. This will be the best financial decision you have ever made. My name is Hollis, Mr. Killamap, and I endorse this message.
Detox time again at Nirvana Natural Hall Clinic Detox Center. The festive season is over. So let's start 2020 looking and feeling like a boss with our many body cleansing options. Purchase detox products as low as $50. Purchase detox combo packs as low as $100. Receive 10% off on all in-house colonic irrigation treatment. Take control of your health now. Don't delay. Call us on 231-6642-418-7115 or 449-7753. We are located in Belmont St. George's, close to the Fall Edge area. These offers are valid from January to March for Wild Stocks Laugh. Nirvana Natural Health Clinic, Detox Center. Detox your way to health. This is News at 7. The head of the World Health Organization is urgent for unity as the agency comes under continued pressure from U.S. President Donald Trump. Speaking on Wednesday, Director General Dr. Tedros defended the WHO's, uh, of course, defended the WHO's work and issued a stern warning to world leaders. Political parties should be to save their people. Please don't politicize this virus. It exploits the differences you have at the national level. No need to use COVID to score political punch. No need. You have many other ways to prove yourselves. This is not the one to use for politics. It's like playing with fire. We will have many body bags in front of us if we don't behave. The WHO chief warned that this is not the time for division as COVID-19 takes the lives of people around the world. For God's sake, we have lost, we have lost more than 60 thousand citizens of the world even one person is precious whether it's young or old more than a million cases what are we doing is this not enough it's more than enough even the death of one person is a disaster when we can prevent it President Dr. Donald Mamouli. Trump said he would consider ending U.S. funding for the U.N. agency. And, of course, we can go on to tell you that he accused the WHO of being very China-centric and said it rarely blew its pandemic response. Dr. Tedros now has now dismissed the comments, insisting, quote, we are close to every nation. We are, we are close to every nation. We are colorblind. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the administration was re-evaluating funding of the WHO, adding organizations have to work and deliver the outcomes for which they were intended. This one to report St. George's University, a graduate there is urging people here to be smart. Dr. Matthew Mamoli says it's easy to panic as the world watches the devastation being caused by COVID-19, but all is not lost. Dr. Mamoli is a graduate of St. George's University and is now the director of the Clinical Studies Unit at National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Speaking on Beyond the Headlines recently, he said that people should replace fear with being thoughtful and wise. So we, you know, there's no need to panic, but we do need to be smart. And so we are smart in our house. Uh, we are, uh, my kids are out of school. We've closed all schools in this area. Uh, they are staying home. Uh, my wife and I are limiting our trips out to just necessary work trips and necessary grocery trips. Uh, and otherwise are uh, staying just home with our family 
The St. George's University graduate says, having lived in Grenada for several years, he understands the lay of the land and the difficulty some people may have with complying with the newly imposed emergency regulations. However, he says it is an essential step in the process. Uh, from what I'm hearing, you're doing a very good job. Uh, and, and I think I would give you a very high rating. Uh, at this point, with the nine cases, uh, my understanding of those cases is that they are mostly, if not all, imported. Uh, you're taking the steps now to avoid community spread before it starts. And that really is the key. Uh, because once it starts, it becomes much harder to stop. And so by trying to stop it early, hopefully that will limit the amount of time that you have to have these inconveniences uh, of, uh, of staying home, staying off the streets, staying away from all the places that you like to go. Dr. Mamoli stresses the importance of curbing community spread. Uh, once you wait for community spread to start, uh, then it can take a much longer time to reduce the spread of the disease and, and you'd probably be inconvenienced for a much longer time. So from what I'm hearing uh, from uh, both this show and, and what I've been told about what's going on in Grenada, Right now, uh, I think you're doing the right thing. That was Dr. Matthew Mamoli, a graduate of St. George's University, who is now the Director of Clinical Studies Unit National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in Washington, D.C. For GBN News, Beverly Tellersford. While the dreaded coronavirus has everyone's attention, one must not forget that the hurricane season is almost upon us. Hurricane researchers at Colorado State University are predicting an above average Atlantic hurricane season in 2020, citing the likely absence of El Nino as a primary factor. More in this report. The institution's Tropical Meteorological Project team is predicting 16 named storms during the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June 1st to November 30th. Of those, researchers expect eight to become hurricanes and four to reach major hurricane strength, categories three to four to five on the Sapphire simpson scale, which sustain winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. So far, it said the 2020 hurricane season is exhibiting characteristics similar to 1960, 1966, 1980, 1996, and 2008. Based on research, tropical and subtropical Atlantic sea surface temperatures are currently warmer than their long-term average values and are consequently also considered a factor favoring an active 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Yes, you said the 2019 season was most notable for Hurricane Dorian, which devastated the northwestern Bahamas, and for tropical storm Imelda, which caused tremendous flooding in portion of southeast Texas. Texas. Christina John, GBN News. Stay with us now for this evening's GBN Eye Saw compliments Claire Vision Eye Center. A good eye captures all. GBN Eye Saw is brought to you by Claire Vision. You know us, but we knew. You feel at home with every visit. An experienced team offering personalized courtier service and trendy brand name lifestyle products. We're changing the vision care landscape one customer at a time. Clear Vision Eye Center. People and technology coming together to help you see the world with a clearer vision. Tonight's I Saw features video footage of a one-year-old boy assisting his father in the garage. The little mechanic hails from the parish of St. Andrew and, according to his mother, takes pride in getting the job done. You can send in your photo and video submissions via our social media platforms. Stay with us, the weather is next, followed by the sports news. A journey like no other. Jungles so lush, they make emeralds jealous. Water that sparkles like diamonds. Mountains.
diamonds with more facets than precious gems. This is where good times are had, where love is strengthened, where memories are formed. And when it all comes to an end, bring home something that will never fade. Colombian Emeralds International. Bring home more than a memory. Esplanade Mall St. George's, Maurice Bishop International Airport, and Sandals Grenada Resort. Telephone number 230-1023. Tropical shipping is fast and reliable. Always on time, safe and affordable. Friendly staff here to connect you. Tropical worldwide, you must get you. Shop online and you get it on time. Hassle free to meet your deadline. Consolidate any size, any load with tropical shipping. So we ship everything. I can't wait to ship with tropical. I can't wait. Go back in the big blue snow. I cannot wait to ship with tropical. A local agents, George F. Huggins and Company, Grenada Limited. A telephone number 440-8787. Or visit our website at www.tropical.com. Email us at grenadasales at tropical.com. Tropical Shipping. Committed to island life. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. Hey, Daisy. Yeah. Bye, line boy. Your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns, giving me feedback as a house took shape. They were there from start to finish, and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad, boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the Housing Authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call. 440-1015 or 440-1016. Or check out their website, hag473.com. They go handle you. They go jog your blocks. They go draw your plan. They go tote your materials. <laughs> hey, man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada. Is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience. The Grenada Distillers Limited joins the government and people of Grenada, Caribou, and Pitti Martinique in the fight against COVID-19. Only together we can beat this pandemic. As a corporate citizen, we have temporarily stopped the production of rum, and our focus has been on the production of a sanitizing solution to assist in the fight against this dreadful pandemic. We have commenced free distribution to the senior citizens' homes, children's homes, and other vital organizations around the country, and made this product available to you at supermarkets and pharmacies island-wide. We encourage you to please listen and obey the guidelines issued by our health authority and the Royal Grenada Police Force. Together, and only together, we can beat COVID-19. GBN. We've got you covered. Weather for Grenada, Caracou, and Petit Martinique valid for tonight and the following three days. Weather tonight generally fair. Tonight's minimum temperature 26 degrees Celsius. Wind easterly to east southeasterly at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Seas moderate, waves 4 to 6 feet in open water. Tides low at 10.45 p.m., high at 4.50 a.m. Sunrise tomorrow morning, 5.59. The weather on Friday, the 10th day of April, generally fair and breezy. On Saturday, the 11th, generally fair and windy. And on Sunday, the 12th, generally fair, becoming partly cloudy at times, with few brief nighttime showers possible. I'll be back after this with the sports news.
fellow sporting fans, Qatar and Russia have hit back at allegations of bribery after U.S. prosecutors accused them of paying millions in bribes for the rights to host the 2018 and 2022 World Cup football tournaments. According to U.S. Justice Department documents released Monday, FIFA officials received bribes to vote in favor of awarding the 2018 World Cup to Russia and the 2022 tournament to Qatar. Officials in Qatar said they strongly deny the allegations contained within the court papers, while the Russian authorities said they absolutely legally got the right to host the 2018 Global Football Spectacle. The U.S. legal action is linked to a wide-ranging 2015 corruption scandal that left world governing body FIFA in turmoil and led to the downfall of then-President Sepp Blatter. The timings of the competition due to be held in November and December 2022 remain unchanged by the coronavirus pandemic. The Bangladesh Cricket Board and Cricket Australia have mutually agreed to postpone the two test series that were scheduled for June due to the persisting COVID-19 threat. The series was to be played between June 11th and 23rd in Bangladesh and as part of the World Test Championship cycle. The boards took the decision with the welfare of their players and communities in mind and will work together to find a suitable date to play the series once the situation becomes clearer. The series is among the two WTC series scheduled for June with England scheduled to host West Indies around the same time. It was also to be Australia's first visit to Bangladesh since their one all series draw in 2017. It becomes the third WTC series to be affected after the Sri Lanka-England series scheduled for March and the second test of Bangladesh's staggered tour of Pakistan, which was scheduled to begin on the 5th of April. Right, this one to report. Even during a mandatory lockdown, Pakistan cricketers have, will have to keep their fitness levels up as the country's cricket board will conduct fitness tests for over 200 of its contracted domestic and international players via video link. All cricket in Pakistan has been suspended since March 15th due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Contracted players were due to undergo fitness tests on March 23rd and 24th, but they were also called off. That assessment will now take place in modified form on April 28th and 21st, with the tests designed in mind with the restrictions on players' movements and all grounds and PCB facilities shut. The restricted tests have been, de have been designed as a means of monitoring how players have been spending their time during the nationwide lockdown. And two of Britain's biggest Olympic sports have become the latest to announce plans to follow staff. Because of the coronavirus crisis, British cycling is to avail of the government's job retention scheme to cover 80% of the wages of 90 staff members in April and May, as it faces a drop in income of around £4 million. UK Athletics also plans to follow up to 12 of its head office staff, as it also braces itself for a significant loss of revenue. Joanna Coates, installed as UK Athletics' new chief executive a week ago, said that while senior staff and the rest of the workforce are not yet taking pay cuts, it is a belief that this first round of following is the start of a series of measures that they will probably have to undertake. Julia Harrington, her counterpart at British Cycling, has announced that she and other members of her leadership team will take a 10% pay cut in May and June. Harrington also stressed her intention to return staff placed in Fola to the British Cycling fold at the earliest opportunity once the global pandemic has abated. That is the sports news for now. Stay with us.
Around the globe, Haiti's President Jovenel Moïse on Tuesday, April 9th, confirmed Jean-Michel Lapin in his post as the country's new prime minister, just weeks after the Chamber of Deputies censured his predecessor's six-month-old government. The new administration said Lapin, currently the acting prime minister, must assemble with Moïse and will face present problems such as the high cost of living and the insecurity that plagues the capital. Haiti is still recovering from widespread riots in February when thousands of people took to the streets across the country, one of the world's poorest, to demand better living conditions and the departure of the head of state. Lapin is the uh, third head of government under President Moise, who has led the Caribbean island nation since February 2017. Britain's Immigration Minister Caroline Nukes has been forced to apologize to victims of the Winrus scandal after 500 private email addresses were accidentally shared, resulting in a breach of data protection regulations. The details were mistakenly revealed to people and organizations who and which had registered an interest in a compensation scheme via email. Last week, the government announced it is set to pay up to £200 million in compensation to people whose lives were significantly affected by the Home Office classifying thousands of long-term British residents as illegal immigrants. The immigration minister in a statement said, quote, regrettably in promoting the scheme via email to interested parties, an administrative error was made, which has meant that data protection requirements have not been met, for which the Home Office apologizes unreservedly. That is Around the Globe. Stay with us. We'll be back to remind you of the headlines. We just have time to remind you of the headlines if you're just tuning into the news. COVID-19 tests to be announced on Friday. Scores of motorists use a day opportunity to refuel vehicles. Ten arrested and charged during Beach Line in St. John. Plus in the sports news, Qatar and Russia deny buying World Cup rights. And in Around the Globe, Jamaica develops protocols to reopen borders. That's all from us at the GBN Newsroom. I'm Ken Rovitis. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. Take care.